vacation dance program that I run. My name is Molly Wheat. Um, so, but I really wanted just to say to welcome everybody to this, this is my vacation dance program that I've been running since 2011 for kids from ages 10 to 18. Um, so I can just point out that, uh, you know, in case you're not already aware, what we do here in this vacation program is uh, we do have our classes in the morning. I teach a dance, we teach a, a ballet class in the morning, point classes, we had modern class throughout the week. We had a special guest come on Monday for a Pilates class. Some kids have not had Pilates before, so that was a nice uh, uh, surprise for them. But then in the afternoons, every single day was rehearsals for their pieces. And I really don't do anything, to be honest. I mean, I organize the schedule. I organize who rehearses where, who, how they work their music, which dancers they're going to work with. But I really don't help them that much with the choreography, to be honest. So what you're seeing is what they created. And I love it because uh, if you know anything about ballet, you know that there are certain rules, perhaps, that we may or may not know about as the audience, and lines that are expected versus lines that are not expected, um, shapes that people make, ways that you turn. No, you can't land here. You have to land here. But they don't have those rules in this vacation program. So they can do whatever it is they're vision allows. You saw the girls with the masks, they wanted to have them, and you know, that's what they wanted. That's how it works. So everything they want to do, I let them do. I try to facilitate it. Some, as you can tell, are having more experience. Some have just started in recent years. But I think it's so beautiful to watch because you see the, the younger ones and you realize this is where all of those famous dancers you know, you see them in the big ballet companies, you see them in So You Think You Can Dance, and they're winning competitions everywhere. They all started like this. They all started at this age doing this kind of work. Maybe they were lucky enough to choreograph, maybe not. I think it's pretty unique for kids to be able to choreograph their own pieces. And that's really why I did this. I did this because when I was a kid, I just wanted to dance all the time. And during vacation, my regular ballet school also took vacation. And I thought to myself, if I was still a kid, I would want to dance all through vacation. And that's, that's why I made this program. That's why I did this. And then I thought, the other thing I missed as a child was being able to make my own dances. And as you can see, it's their own creativity. Like, they come up with everything, and that's what I wanted. I wanted them to be able to express themselves as they see fit. Sometimes it's very surprising. Somebody who might be quite shy in real life comes out and really surprises you with this drama, passion. It's really beautiful. So now I'm going to see if the dancers are ready. I got a thumbs up. So we'll have the next piece and the rest of the show. There is a second show after this, and it's the same, so I welcome you to stay and watch the second one as well. I give them two shows on purpose. To tell you the truth, it's quite a tight night for us. But I really, really believe that you need more than one show. Yeah, always. You need more than one show. So this is our first show. Stay for the second. Welcome, everybody, to the vacation program February 2015. Thank you. 
I just wanted to welcome you. I wanted to say thank you to all of you for providing me with the awesome kids that we had this week. Really, I just have to say that your children are amazing. They're talented, they're smart, they're patient, they're diligent. They're just beautiful, they're lovely, every single one of them. We had a really, really excellent week. And the performance you're seeing here today is choreography by these kids, by your kids in this week. That they came in, they found their music, they choreographed their own pieces, they came up with their own costumes, they did all the work. I did nothing, I just sat the whole time. So here's your show, I hope you enjoy it. I will be back later to thank you again, but we'll start with the show. Thank you so much. I was just having a taste of different kinds of dance. On Thursday, I brought in a modern teacher, and we had a class in the Horton Technique. So we had a Pilates teacher on Monday. All these guest artists to show us this whole wide world of exercise, athleticism, and passion, creativity, and art, which is what we've been doing this whole week. So I started this program, and also a, a unique opportunity for the youngsters to be able to choreograph their own pieces. So what you're seeing here tonight is their own creativity. And and, and really, it's um, it's interesting to watch what comes out of everybody. You know, they have an idea. You'll see some of the ideas that they came up with, and and sometimes you think, oh, oh, okay. If you want to, we can try. And it's their dance. So yes, if they want to do that, we'll do it. And we work on it. And we go off and we buy the glue so they can, you know, do the makeup that they need to do, or or we create a costume, or we get the music going. And somehow it all comes together. And in this case, we did it in only four days because we started on Monday. And everything you see here, they choreographed this week. Except this dance, which we just saw, was originally choreographed in February for four girls. And now we've uh, reset it. They reset it for, for all the girls in the program. And I thought that was really special that they could all be in it. So now we have more dances coming. Uh, I will get to come out and speak again. But I'm looking to see. Thumbs up. They're ready to go. Let's do the next piece. So that piece you just saw was actually choreographed by one of our guest artists who came and taught us. So this is my vacation dance program, I should say, in case anyone doesn't know. And we dance throughout the week. We have the entire day, Monday through Friday, to take classes, to have stretch sessions, Pilates, rehearsals, choreograph, as you'll see the pieces they're about to perform. And on Tuesday, we had a special guest of a flamenco teacher who came in and we learned, she taught us the basics, and then we learned a little phrase, and by the end she said, you should perform this on Friday in your show. So here we are, and as you can see, you know, you learn, you try. Uh, the hard part turned out to be singing while we were dancing, and singing in Spanish while we were dancing, and clapping and singing in Spanish while we were dancing, and steps that we had just learned. So it was really a nice challenge, and, and I, they're so brave, it was so exciting to see them try that, and go for it. I said, go for it. They said, but I don't speak Spanish. I said, it's okay, just try. That was for fun. Just something to try new forms of dance. This is not necessarily a ballet program. We have different kinds of dance every day, and then we have Pilates, and there's all these different things we're learning about our technique, about our bodies, about how to dance, and how to be safe, how to prevent injuries. So all of that is a part of the program. But more than anything, it's about choreographing and dancing which is what the kids did. And I'm gonna let them do so now. So enjoy the rest of the show, I'll be back later. And I told them not to worry about anything that happens because everything is, you know, it's their first time. So I'm very proud of them for that piece. And now we'll come right kids so I just have to thank you for providing me with these wonderful children they're so smart and talented and just good good people all of them I found them to be an excellent group this year I had so much fun I feel like I had a dozen kids this week and here they are you can watch them performing now
they're just such a sweet group of kids and they just really wanted to share. They're supportive of each other. It's such a mixed age group. You have 10 years old all the way up to 16, all choreographing and enjoying themselves, supporting each other. It was really a beautiful experience, not just for them, but for me. I had to audition for that role, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. They gave me someone else first. <laughs> and fight for it. Am I right? <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. I'm going to let them do the final piece. This piece I choreographed for the students at the uh, dance company at Cambridge Ridge Latin School. Then I also re choreographed it for my group of adult dancers that we performed it at the dance complex last year. But um, they requested it. These kids wanted to do it again. So here we are, here we have these. So it's been very impressive because a lot of these dances are quite intricate and they really learn them all in, 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 the, in the few days that we have. And in fact, this week was even shorter than usual because our performances are on Thursday. So it's been quite a rush. Uh, great, great fun. We've been really working hard, I think, at the same time playing, so that's always nice. I'm getting a thumbs up from our next dancers, so we'll start the next piece. Thank you so much, everybody. That dance, they invited the little ones to come join them. So that was just and that's part of the fun of this, is that the little kids, in, in their normal ballet classes or their more normal dance classes, they don't get to interact as much with the kids that are not their own age. But here in the vacation program, we bring them all together. And this is quite fun. Sometimes I stop and use it as a learning moment. You see how they're practicing? That's how they get so good, because they have time to practice and they're thinking about it. We stopped and asked each other how long each of us had been on point. And you know, the, the younger kids watching the older ones so impressed by how strong they are. I said, how long have you been on point? Five years. Okay. So in five years, you're going to look like that too. Not to worry, right? Because if you've just started point a few months ago, you, you have plenty of time. So that was kind of fun for them to see what will happen in a few more years. And you see their styles not just emerging, like they have styles already. You know, I would be able to tell based on their movement style and the way they dance, and that's what I love, that's what I want, is for them to be able to create and to make their own dances that come out of their own hearts. And that's probably what we learned from our guest teachers without realizing it said the same thing to us. They said, dance with your passion, show your passion, show who you are, you know, and, and that's, what we, that's what this program is all about. Our two sisters, yeah. <laughs> choreographing and performing together. What a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 